In this video you will learn how to carve wooden spoon for your salad in 10 simple steps. It's gonna look like this and it will be perfect with your salad bowl. As a bonus, I'm talking about four different kinds of wood. Hello my friends and welcome back to Home Wood Spirit. This is your Vladimir speaking. I would like to share with you today how to carve a wooden spoon for your salad in 10 simple steps. It's gonna look like this. As you can see, I have decorated this handle. You can do it as well. It's quite easy. You don't need that many tools. And uh, I'm pretty sure that you will enjoy your salad even more. If you create such a bowl, I bet that you will eat salad every day. It's healthy. <laughs> At the end of the video, I'm also talking about four different kinds of wood I'm using. Enjoy! In the first step, I draw the design of the wooden spoons on a piece of paper. I have used here these two leaves as a decoration of the handle. You can use whatever you want. I'm pretty sure it will improve the design a little bit. Or you can leave here just straight lines until the end of the handle, which will make it even easier for you if you are on the beginning. I cut out the spoon with the scissors and I use this pattern to redraw it on the block of wood. I'm trying to be quite precise here, which will save me some time while working with knife. In the second step, I have prepared one centimeter thick American walnut timber. I have taped my pattern with this transparent tape on it. Uh, this is gonna lock it in one position. If I make a mistake, it will always return in one place. I have here also this two centimeter part. Uh, this is gonna help me to clamp it down and hold it firmly on my workbench and then I just redraw it with the pencil and I'm done. In this third step I'm going to hollow out this scoop of the spoon. As you can see I hold it with this F clamp and I use this little wee block as a protection because I don't like when the metal part pushes on my block of wood. Uh, here I have uh, number seven gouge. Uh, the number, the first number here in this case number seven means the arc, the curvature, and the second number, the twenty, means the width, so twenty millimeters. I hold my gouge with the left hand like this, quite close to the cutting edge, and with my right hand uh, at the end of the handle. I lean my left hand here and I'm slightly pushing and slicing like this. This is how I cut it with it. And I'm going to end up in about half of the thickness of the timber, which should be five millimeters. To make a perfect cut along this inside line, I simply re-grab the gouge, my left hand holds it like this now and my right hand is again at the end of the handle. This will bring me more control over it and I can go into bigger details like this. In the fourth step I cut out the shape of the spoon with the copping saw. I simply uh, put it in my vise here and cut it like that. You can also use your F clamp, clamp it down here and cut it with the copping saw like that. In this fifth 
step, I'm going to use my wood carving knife and I'm going to carve this handle in round and this little leaf here. In the sixth step, I'm going to carve the bottom of the scoop and as you can see, I hold it again with my F-clamp. I'm using this little wee block because I don't want to hit the steel while carving. And I have here number three uh, gouge, it's a little bit flatter and I'm going to carve it like that. Okay. Again, I'm trying to slice it as I can. In the seventh step, I grab again my coping saw and I saw the spoon of this uh, holding block. In the eighth step, I use again my wood carving knife and I finalize the scoop of the spoon with it. I can also mark the scoop with a line like this, which will indicate me where to go with my knife. So I will go something like this. I'll simply follow the line from one side. Then I flip it over and I will do the same from the other side. Okay, and then I have perfect edge. And at the end, it's going to look something like this. The edge is beveled from both sides. And I think it's good enough. Mint step is about decorating this little leaf here. Uh, I already redraw it over here. And uh, I want to mention here that uh, I made a little mistake that I should um, cut this little block off later on because now I would normally use the clamp over here but I made a mistake so I figured out that I wrapped it with the uh, leather over here to not to damage my final product and I can use now this V tool to decorate the leaf So in this 10th and the last step, uh, I oil the spoon. I use 100% natural tang oil. Uh, I will make another video on oils because you ask me quite a lot about it. Uh, and I use simply this brush or you can use cloth. So there we go. Uh, I stain it like this 
and uh, I leave it for about three days uh, with the oil and then I wipe it with some cloth look at that how it changed the color to the beautiful brown it's amazing this is truly a reward In this bonus, I would like to show you which uh, timber I'm using for wooden kitchenware, uh, particularly for the spoons. So I have here American Walnut. It has beautiful brown color. This is how it looks like when it's stained with oil. And it is really nice to carve. Beautiful. All walnuts are amazing option. Second is uh, alder timber. Uh, I love it because it's light, soft and easy to carve. And it holds shape. And also I really like it because of this orange color while stained with oil. Another group of trees I'm using are fruity trees particularly this one is a plum so you can see this amazing reddish color this is how it looks like when it's stained it's even it's even more beautiful and uh, you can use apple or pear they will be even better options because particularly this plum is it's quite hard to carve okay so it's quite advanced timber the last option I've chosen here is uh, European lime or American basswood if you want every wood carver knows it's really easy to carve look at that it's just like cutting in a butter It holds shape beautifully and um, it's really, really nice timber for beginning. Okay, so hope this is gonna help you a little bit. Here they are. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel and click that little bell button next to it so you will not miss out any video. If you also wanna know which wood carving tools I'm using, I have prepared for you a little guide about 7 basic wood carving tools. The link is down below the video and you can download it for free. Um, also if you have any question about wood carving, I'll be happy to find the best answer for you. So just let me know down below the video in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.